Allah refers to the heart as an organ of thought and emotion. Allah refers to the qalb as a faculty of thought and emotion. And He also refers to the brain as a faculty of thought. So Allah refers to two separate faculties, both of which are thinking, and one of which has emotions as well. And that is the faculty of the heart. And by ascribing iman to the heart, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is signifying its importance. Anything that resides in the heart will benefit the entire body. It is the source of our life. And as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, verily there is a flesh in the body. If this flesh is pure, the rest of the body will be pure. And if this flesh is filthy and corrupted, the rest of the body will be corrupted. This flesh is the heart. And so Allah says that I have written iman directly into the hearts of the believers. And that is a great blessing from Allah. Of the blessings that Allah shows that iman has, is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran, in Surah Al-Hujurat verses 7 to 8, in Surah Al-Hujurat verses 7 to 8, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that Allah is the one who has habbaba ilaykumul iman. Allah has made iman habbab, mahboob. He has made iman beloved to you. Why do we love to be Muslims? Why do we love iman? Why do we have a love and a sense of joy of having this pride of iman? Allah is the one who has given it to us. Habbab ilaykumul iman. Not only that, Allah goes on, وَزَيَّنَهُ fi qulubikum, And Allah has beautified your hearts with Iman. Beautified your hearts with Iman. Iman is what makes you beautiful. Iman is what makes you dignified. Iman is what gives you your izza and your glory. Without Iman, you would be nothing. You would be disfigured and ugly. Not physically, spiritually. Without Iman, you're not anything. You're nothing. With Iman, you are beautiful, you are dignified, you have your izzah. And Allah is the one who has given this Iman to you. وَزَيَّنَهُ فِي قُلُوبِكُمْ Zayyana is from zina, which means to beautify. So Iman beautifies you and it beautifies your heart. Because what Iman does is it makes your heart pure, makes you a good person. And that's exactly what Allah says. حَبَّبَ إِلَيْكُمُ الْإِيمَانَ وَزَيَّنَهُ Once again, فِي قُلُوبِكُمْ Once again, Iman in the heart. What makes, what, what is Iman beautify? Your heart. And your heart is beautified through Iman. How is that come about? Allah is the one who does it. And once again, Allah is speaking in the singular. Habbaba ilaykum wa zayyana. This is in the singular. It is as if Allah is saying that each and every one of you, I am the one who has written Iman in your hearts. I am the one who has made you love Iman. I am the one who has made Iman beautiful to you and beautified you through Iman. All of this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ascribes directly to Himself. 